Bills were very, very close to Christmas and it finally snowed yesterday and last night and I'm so happy about it. I manifested this. I went and got my winter nails, which I typically do in January after Christmas. Oh, it's snowing right now. Anyways, I went and got my little winter nails and I think I inspired mother nature. So you're welcome, Canada. I don't know if we're gonna have a white Christmas. I'm really, really hoping we will because there's something so magical about a white Christmas. Today, I just really wanna dive into the Christmas spirit. I was talking to my hairdresser about this yesterday. We were talking about how this year, there's like something missing. Like it doesn't feel as festive and Christmassy as it usually does. I don't know if that's just because I'm getting older. I'm 28 and I'm still expecting this like magical Christmas feeling that I had when I was younger, I guess. I think it has to do with the weather as well because it's been so weirdly warm. Today, I automatically feel more Christmassy. Just looking outside and seeing everything covered in snow and everything's white. Like that's what we're used to for a Canadian Christmas. Other reason I think it feels less magical is because I don't have any kids. <laughs> I think when you become a parent, you relive that like magical Christmas feeling through your kid because you're so excited to see them so excited. So I feel like because I'm getting older and I like don't have a little child to experience that with, like I am still the kid. I feel like that kind of affects it too. First up on the docket actually is we are gonna make a simmer pot. I have never in my life made a simmer pot and this is the perfect thing to make for today because it's just gonna sit on the stove and make my house smell beautiful and delicious all day. So amazing. How is this the first time I've ever made a simmer pot? The spices really make it. Now we're gonna bake some cookies. Last night I made some gingerbread dough. We're not gonna make normal gingerbread cookies. We're gonna make gingerbread whoopie pies. My girl Sally's Baking Addiction, I always go to her site because she always has so many good, fun recipes. This dough smells so good. I love gingerbread. I love it. Other thing I want to do right now is make this candle into a mug. I mean, it technically is a mug. This is a little Santa mug. I got it at a Christmas market one or two years ago. Oh, it smells so good. It's like a cinnamon candle, but I effed up the wick. So the wick is like folded and I can't, it doesn't light anymore. It doesn't do anything. It's just like melted into the wax. So I wanna get all the wax out of here so I can use this as a mug. Dishwasher and microwave safe. I'm also gonna switch the record cause that one just finished. I have not listened to this one yet. I'm really excited because it's artists, choirs and orchestras and I love an orchestra. We got our record player last year for Christmas. So we haven't listened to all of our Christmas records because we were shopping for these in like January. So this is the first time I'm putting this one on, but. Oh, I love an orchestra. I am deep in the Christmas spirit right now. I think I just needed a Christmas record, a simmer pot to bake some cookies. I just needed to do all the things at once. I feel extremely Christmassy right now. I think the snow is really helping too. Having my window open and seeing all the snow. Merry 
Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play. They have six more minutes in the oven. I'm scared, I hope they turn out well. I did make them smaller than I was supposed to because I have this many left. There's already 24 in there. I did 32 little cookies instead. Santa Claus is packing the presents Making sure you've been behaving okay I can't even put into words how good these smell. I so desperately want to take a bite. I just made the icing. I'm gonna taste test it right now because I haven't tried it yet. What do I try it on? Will you judge me if I use my finger? Nice spiced cream cheese icing. Mm. Cream cheese icing is the best icing there is. Mm -hmm. I could probably put more spices in it. Like I don't really taste the spices, but I don't want them to be too overpoweringly spiced because the cookies are gonna be very spiced tasting. So she's good. We're gonna just leave her as is because it is delicious and the consistency is perfect. Am I becoming a baker girl? Like, why am I having fun? I think just at Christmas though. I don't think any other time of year I could see myself. I don't know, actually. Damn it, that's good. One of the best parts of baking. This is gonna taste so good with that gingerbread. They turned out perfectly. Like, they actually look beautiful. They remind me of Pfeffernoose, but like, giant Pfeffernoose. You know what album I can't get out of my head this Christmas? Playing Fruitcake, EP by Sabrina Carpenter from Apple so Music. Good. My friend described it as she made Christmas slutty. Yes, she did. Every Christmas, honey, yeah. the snowman's dusting off his hat, putting on the show for everybody. I have half of them iced, so now I can put them together. I need to match up some similar sizes. The icing is actually quite a thick layer. I started going way too thin, so I had to go over and add a bunch more. Now they're definitely a little bit tall. Like they're very fluffy. I don't know if I should have maybe flattened them more. These just look like little mini hamburgers. I don't, are they supposed to look like this? I think the cookies are too tall. I think it looks like little buns. They just, they look like little sliders. This looks stupid. <laughs> I kind of wish I just put the icing on the top and had them like as individual cookies. These aren't as cute as my last cookies. <laughs> I'm gonna try one of my little sliders. And I know the second I bite this, it's just gonna squish out. I should have just put the icing on the top. I don't know. I kind of hate these. <laughs> they look stupid. You know the drill. I'm gonna try it for TikTok too. So if I'm looking at them, no, I'm thinking about you. <laughs> okay, let's try it. I think the icing is gonna seep out everywhere. I'm gonna put them in the fridge and keep them in the fridge, but they're fresh right now. Oh my God, that's so yummy. The cream cheese with the spicy gingerbread. Only problem is it, as soon as I bit it, it completely seeped out everywhere. If you keep them in the fridge, the icing won't be as seepy. <laughs> mm. I think they would have been better if I had just taken like a piping bag, an icing piping bag and like piped a nice little swirl of icing on the top of each cookie. I think that would have been the move. I think that would've been really cute. Maybe put a little bit of sprinkles on top. Oh, that would've been way cuter than these stupid gingerbread sliders. And if you do that, please send me a picture because I'm gonna be really jealous of how cute yours look compared to my hamburger ones. I feel like I can't focus now because I read, 
damn it i read like a comment on tiktok that was it was like a whole like thread talking about my update video and how i should have mentioned that i get like lip filler and i've had botox before the video was saying like you get all these injections and then you complain about your face being inflamed and it's probably your migrating filler and it's just not it's just not i've never had filler anywhere else on my face so if you guys watch that update video i guess here's another update um i do have lip filler which i talk about every single time i go there's never a time i go where i'm not posting about it i always keep you guys updated I get Botox right here on my Levin's lines. But the comment just like threw me off now and now I'm just thinking about it. And I'm trying not to let it bother me because the main like part of the comment was that, oh, all these people are saying really horrible things about you on Jim Snark on Reddit, which is this like terrible, terrible Reddit thread that basically bullies people. I've never actually looked at it and do not go look at it. Just because you're like, ooh, I'm curious. I'm gonna look at all the gossip. Don't feed into that. Honestly, it's just, it's not, it's really sad that that type of thing exists on the internet, but I just know there's probably so much shit talked about me on there. So that's kind of put this like weird knot in my stomach. I don't know. But, and I'm trying to not stress about it or think about it because that's just gonna raise my cortisol more and make my face puffier because it has nothing to do with filler. Uh, I had my two hour appointment with my naturopath and it's all due to like cortisol and digestion, all these internal things. So I'm gonna try to be normal for the rest of this video. If I seem a little bit off, this is why, because now I'm just like in the back of my mind, I'm thinking about this like really terrible thread on the internet that's a, just a bunch of people talking shit about me who have never met me before and that makes me want to throw up <laughs> i'm gonna make a delicious little iced decaf peppermint mocha listen the only reason i started making this iced was because i went and got my teeth whitened at lays london the place is called like london teeth whitening or something sweetest girl ever and so beautiful the way i walked in the door and my like jaw literally opened because she's so stunning anyways so so we did a little teeth whitening session and she was like don't have any staining liquids like coffee and wine but she did say i could have iced coffee through a straw so that it didn't like hit my teeth when i was sipping it she said to do that for like two days after getting them done i ended up doing it for like four days because i really love this this is the perfect iced coffee cup it's my little holly jelly energy thing from Milani. Got my glass straw. I have my decaf coffee. And this is the star of the show. This is the Silk Peppermint Mocha for Coffee Almond Creamer. And this is delicious. It is a yummy, delicious treat. So we're gonna make that and we're gonna do some present wrapping right now. And don't worry, mom, if you're watching this, I won't show your gift. So you don't need to worry and exit. So I did wrap some presents already, including this gigantic, super heavy one that has these like protective cables. <laughs> and then I do have some under here as well. Some of these are fake from our Night Swim campaign. Like these are fake. <laughs> all of these ones are all the ones I've wrapped so far. I think there's another one back there. Yeah, one back there. But I love this paper. What is it called? Christmas and Chill? Christmas and Chill? These are some more fake ones, so I need to open these because I like to use the boxes to put like random objects in because I can't wrap this. So I keep a bunch of Amazon boxes usually around Christmas time. I haven't watched that many Christmas movies this year. The only Christmas movies I have watched this year are Office Christmas Party, which is so funny and I love it. Jason Bateman's in it and I just love that man. I also watched Four Christmases, which is so good. That one's from like 2008 or something, but I love it. And then, oh, and then the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. My two kind of favorite original Christmas movies are Charlie Brown and The Grinch. And I just saw that Apple TV Plus put Charlie Brown at Charlie Brown Christmas. This is my favorite soundtrack. The Vince Guaraldi Trio soundtrack for Charlie Brown is my favorite Christmas soundtrack. I will never get tired of it.
feeling sad today thinking about Christmas being over it's in five days Christmas is literally in five days and then it's January February we're gonna romanticize winter together hardcore this year usually in January I feel like I kind of drop off YouTube really on YouTube I post the most in fall and going up until Christmas and then a lot of the time I'm just like, I don't know what to post. I don't know what people want to see for me. But this year I'm committing more to YouTube because it's probably my favorite platform. Like it's just so, I feel safe here. I'm really gonna try, I've already started planning some videos for January that we're gonna romanticize the winter months together so that we don't get seasonal depression. Let's open my advent calendar. I'm curious as to what else I got in here. I opened so many days in a row on TikTok, so you can check that out. But today is the 20th. <gasps> it's a clip! Get out of town. That's so cute. Oh my god. This is the like most fancy hair clip I own. Is this a fairy? A sparky little princess. How does it look? Does it look cute? Oh my god, I love it. I want to get started on the gingerbread house. I was briefly poking around on Pinterest looking for some inspo. I did the same thing last year. I made like a winter gingerbread house versus a Christmas gingerbread house and then I kept it into January. And I want to do that again this year, especially because, you know, Christmas is in five days and I don't want to get rid of it in five days. I'm making chili today, so I want to make that as well. I don't know why I'm telling you instead of just doing it. I hate when I do that. If you don't have a crock pot or some sort of slow cooker, I 1 million percent recommend getting one. I use this at least once a week, sometimes twice a week. You can make so many things in here and there's nothing better than coming home from the gym or finishing a long work day and your food is ready. Making chili is one of the easiest meals I make in here because I just kind of look through my pantry, I look through my fridge, and whatever I have, I kind of just throw it in. So I don't have a set recipe I follow for chili. The only thing that stays the same is typically the meat. So I'll do one pack of ground turkey, one pack of ground bison or ground beef, and then some sort of bean. Sometimes I'll, I'll do two packs of beans or cans. Sometimes I'll only do one. I only have one this time, so I'm just gonna do black beans. Sometimes I'll do kidney beans. Sometimes I'll add tomato sauce or tomatoes. This time I'm gonna add diced tomatoes. Sometimes I add like chicken stock. I have corn, so I'm gonna put corn in there. And this, I was kind of debating if it would be weird or good, and I kind of think it's gonna be good. I'm gonna put carrots. I love cooked carrots, especially a slow cooked carrot. Usually I'll do carrots when we have pork tenderloin and I'll do like potatoes with that, but I just love carrots. So I think, like that's not weird, is it? To put carrots in chili? I don't really care. It's gonna taste good either way. Usually I'll put onion and pepper in here as well, but I don't have either of those. And then I do chili powder, some red pepper flakes for a little bit of spice. And then I'll either do fresh garlic, which don't have any of that either. So we're doing garlic powder. I feel like you can't go wrong with chili. Even if I just did the meat with the chili spices and tomato sauce, it would still be good. Chili is just, she can be whatever you want her to be. The only annoying part with chili is browning the meat, but really it's not that hard. I'm just dramatic. Toss everything else in here. I also forgot, forgot to mention that I do add salt and pepper as well. I also like to top this with hummus is good. Sour cream, avocado, cheese.
is quite literally the ugliest effing gingerbread house I've ever seen. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I hate this. It's so fugly. I blame it on the fact that I don't have enough icing. I don't have nearly enough icing. I use the entire pack and I couldn't even, I couldn't do anything on the sides. I tried to use this cookie icing and as you can see, it was super liquidy and didn't work and it's just like dripping. Oh my God, also this is the back. Ew, that one's, that side's even uglier. That's the front. Uh, the snowflakes, like I like the long ones, or not the snowflakes, the icicles, I like the long ones. I like the like thick snow on the top, but I wanted to put so much snow on it. Like I wanted to just look like snow covered. And then I wanted to put icing sugar, but I honestly hate this and I don't think I'm gonna be keeping it. If I had two packs of icing, I think I could have made this cute. <sighs> I'm not happy with that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have the best holiday season with your family and friends. Take some time to relax. Take some time off social media. I will see you guys in the new year and let me know what you wanna see. Let me know what videos you wanna see from me. Let me know what you wanna see on Instagram, TikTok, all of the above. And I will see you guys in 2024.